Hi, I want to demonstrate one use case where ChatGPT can help you build user interfaces faster. We are going to build an incoming call screen similar to WhatsApp, and then we will animate it at the end. In the Compose area, we can ask ChatGPT to give us the incoming call screen for WhatsApp. So that gives us the code to be used for the incoming call screen. I'll click on this button to copy the code. Then go to Xcode. I will control click this folder and add a new file. Let's select Swift UI view and next. We are going to use the same name, incoming call screen. Then create. So we have the same name here as the one we got from the code over here. So what we can do is to replace this one with the one we have in the clipboard. So I will paste that. Now we have an error because there are two parameters here, color name and color profile picture. So we have to pass them here. So let's click here and fix. The color name is a string. So I can put my name, Amos. And then this is an image. Let's use an SF symbol. I'm going to open the SF symbol app and then look for one image. Let's select this one, figure.walk.circle.fail and press command shift and C to copy the name. Then we open Xcode again and paste it here. And this gives our incoming call screen. We can also edit this screen further. For example, we want to put a spacer between the profile and the text and also between the text and the buttons. So after the profile here, let's place a spacer. Then I'm going to put another one after the text, the color name and another one between the two buttons. Next, we can put a pattern around all the content. So let's minimize the code and select the parent container for all and place a pattern here. Let's also change it to dark mode. If you like, we can also swap the position of the buttons by placing the accept on the right and then decline on the left. So I'm going to remove the decline button and place it over here. Then I will change the position of the spacer. So this is how to build a very simple incoming call screen in SwiftUI using ChatGPT. We can enhance this interface with sound, but since we don't have sound, we can use animation instead. That is what we are going to do next. So we want to create a pulsating animation for the user's profile. So what we can do is to ask ChatGPT to give us the pulsating animation that happens automatically. So let's go back to the compose area. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to give us a pulsating animation in SwiftUI. So let's look at what it did. It creates a state variable and then set the initial state of the animation to one. Then it has a button with text, tap me, and then it scales that from the initial state to a final state using the on appear modifier. So this is what we want. First, let's copy the state, put it here. Next, we can bring the on appear modifier. So I'm going to select and copy that. That is how the animation is triggered. So it is triggered automatically. Put it here and then I will select everything and align the code. Here it uses a function pulsate, but we can use the state variable directly without using the function itself. So let's remove this one and use the state variable instead because we have already added it here, scale. So I'm going to put scale. So this is the initial animation state. And for the final animation state, it uses the value of 1.1. So here, I'm going to set this value to 1.1. Next, it animates the text here. So I'm going to copy the scale effect modifier that is used to create the animation. So after the clip shape, I'm going to paste it here. 
And to see this animation, we also need to add the ESON, which is here, it uses with animation. So I'm going to copy everything here. What we can do is to place with animation inside the on appear modifier. So I'm going to put it here and bring the carry braces. So we take this away and put it inside here and align the code. And that is all we need to create the pulsating animation. You can see this animation is subtle. What we can do is to also change the final animation state. For example, changing this to 1.5 and preview again. So this is how ChatGPT can help you build your interfaces and animations in SwiftUI. Thanks for watching.